Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled Tongue Trouble. Well, have you ever noticed the amount of trouble your tongue gets you into? I think this type of weakness was on Jesus' mind when He chose Peter to become an apostle. A classic story that typified the problem occurs in Matthew chapter 26, verse 35, where Peter blurts out that no matter what, he will never deny or abandon Jesus. Of course, we know that soon after Jesus was arrested, Peter, along with the others, not only ran away, but when questioned, cursed and swore that he never met Jesus. In this sad story, we learn a few important lessons about dealing with our troubled tongues. Number one, don't speak before you think. You know, had Peter thought for a moment, he would have realized that Jesus wasn't asking him to go suffer and die. He was only asking him to believe that after his death, he would resurrect. Number two, don't promise what you can't deliver. You know, sometimes we, we have to commit, we have to aim at certain goals, but a wise person will not promise what is not his or what he hasn't the ability to produce. Better to admit weakness than prove oneself both weak and foolish. And number three, let the Lord be on the tip of your tongue at all times. Had Peter said, by your strength, Lord, I will not deny you, or if you are willing, Lord, I will follow. Matthew would have written a completely different scenario. Well, thankfully, tongue trouble isn't terminal. Peter eventually proclaimed the resurrection and brought the gospel to the Gentiles. And we can take comfort in the fact that like Peter, the Lord can tame our tongues as well if, like every other thing in our lives, we surrender it to His service. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.